Creatures of the Night is the 10th studio album by the hard rock band KISS. Um, I was never really a big fan of KISS. I like a couple of their songs here and there, but I never really scoped them out, honestly. So this is requested by rock who wanted me to do a shitload of KISS, so we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, like I said, 10 studio record. This album is 38 minutes long and 47 seconds. Um, right off the bat, I enjoyed it. It was a good album. Um, it was their first album in a while to be pretty consistent again, since some of the records were kind of hit or, hit or miss. And I would say it is probably the last consistent KISS album, I would say. After this they kind of became still, didn't really come to the groove again, so that is a bit unfortunate, but they were still decent, I guess. Um, we have the first track, we have nine tracks and the first track is Creatures of the Night. Of course a very catchy and a very memorable track to start it off. Starts off kind of wild but later goes more back into a more traditional kind of Kiss style, a bit more catchy, a bit more melodic. Uh, so this was good, it was sung by Paul Stanley, I enjoy his vocals and he was pretty good on this track, he opened it up pretty strongly. I don't know who the drummer is, I enjoyed the drums on this album too. Uh, Eric Carr, a good drum for Eric Carr, I enjoy the drum intro and the drum throughout the track, good opening track. Then we have Saint and Sinner, this is sung by Gene Simmons, I, mean, I believe they, uh, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons have like vocal traits with each other, you know, then Stanley does it, then Simmons, I think, so. And this song is a bit more wild, it is a bit more raunchy and a bit more hard rock like you would, like you would uh, expect from Gene Simmons. Pretty heavy track for the time, uh, or for, you know, Kiss sake. Um, it is one of the longer tracks, I do enjoy it. I do think it drags on a little bit too long, you know, since I'm not the biggest fan of Simmons singing. But he's a decent singer and he does feel some chops here, some pretty good chops, and I enjoyed it for the most part. Then we have Keep Me Coming, which is kind of a more trashy kind of kiss. I do like the kind of more heavy and the kind of more, just the kind of more re re relentlessness of the song. It's pretty catchy too. Um, Stanley has great focus on it. I do enjoy uh, Paul Stanley as a singer. He is a pretty good singer, I would say. Uh, I'm kind of mixed about Gene. He is a good singer, but I prefer Paul in that in that sense. Good song. Uh, it is pretty heavy, just as I like it. Not too heavy, just the right amount. Then we have Rock and Roll Hell, which is sung by Gene Simmons and of course the devil that he is. He makes a really good memorable track here, it is really anxious, it is re really angst written, kind of edgy sounding, it sounds you no know, typical kiss, but it has some pretty, you know, um, it has some pretty sinister vibes to it, which I do like. And I don't know why, but I just read that Brian Adams wrote this song together with Simmons and Jim Valens. Um, Brian Adams writing a kiss song, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've i seen worse, I guess. It is a pretty good song though, but... If you guys know me, then you know that I fucking hate Brian Adams, but he wrote it a decent junior, so I can't deny that. Then we have Danger, which is uh, sung by Stanley again. Uh, yeah, Danger just kind of, you know, I, I think it reveals the quality of side 2, you know, saying, oh, there comes some danger, there comes some hard rocking vibes your way. And I do dig that, I do dig that the album or the, um, the track itself kind of, you know, hinders, it kind of foretells the, you know, side 2, Danger Ahead. A good track, it's probably the least memorable track together with Saint and Sinner. Which are both kind of act for me, you know, they're alright. Um, this track was good, good. Uh, it was just kind of underwhelming, um, you know, compared to the rest that we have already. Now we have All of It Loud, which is of course the, hey, 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 you know, that song. Um, I, do, 
I do like this song, but I do think it is kind of gimmicky. It is kind of, you know, I don't really like Gene Simmons' vocals on there. He is kind of, eh, for me, you know, he's alright, but I don't, it's, it's good, you know, it's a good song. It's catchy, um, it's captivating, you know, it does keep me listening. It does kind of, it, it does kind of get predictable after a while, I would say. Uh, but overall, this is a good track. It is memorable and it sticks in your mind. Then we have I Still Love You, which is kind of the ballad of the of the album. Uh, it is the longest track of the album, uh, clocking in at 6 minutes and 6 seconds. Um, yeah, and I do really like the vibe of the song. It sounds kind of romantic, you know, of course with a dirty kind of sex, drugs, rock and roll kind of sound with it from Kiss. Which you're bound to expect. A good track, it has good melodies. Um, yeah, it's overall, you know, good. It is a good record. Um, it's romantic, you know, in that kiss style, and it is captivating. So, it's a good track, you know, it covers a lot of ground. Probably covers the most ground on there. So, there we go. Then we have Killer, which is just a fun, kind of quirky, fast paced rock song. Uh, the last two tracks are, by the way, both sung by Simmons for some reason. I don't know, but. He probably wanted to take more credit, so there we go. You know how Gene Simmons says. Uh, so Killer, good track. It is kind of trashy sounding, not per se trash metal, but it is kind of more punky, more thriving, and it's just a more fast paced song. I do like that about the song. It's good, I did really like it. It's probably one of my favorites together with Creatures of the Night and um, I Love It Loud or I Love It Loud. I, I Still Love You is pretty, pretty great. I love it loud and good too, but not one of my favorites. And then we have War Machine. Uh, this track, yeah, this is probably my favorite track of the record. Really. Um, it sounds intelligent. It's is fast paced. It is you know not dumbed down or something. It is actually smart, smartly written. Um, the track is heavy. It's heavy too. Title is awesome. War Machine. So. I love this song, it's an awesome song, great track. Um, I just love the kind of aggressive style that Gene Simmons has on this on this track. It is just punky, ferocious, it's re re relentless. It is just everything that you want out of a Kiss song and more. So I do really love this song. Um, it's probably my favorite Kiss song right now, really. You know, since I haven't really heard, since I haven't really checked out anything else by Kiss, so. Uh, so this is my favorite KISS track at the moment and you know they do end up strongly on air so I do like that you know a strong finish and a good opener so there we go. Strong opener, strong finish so you gotta love that. Um, yeah so overall Creatures of the Night, good. The title is right. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, Shane the Sinner is kind of forgettable for me. Keep Me Coming is good. Rock and Roll Hell is good by a bad songwriter or a bad singer in general, you know Brian Adams. So you know, you know, I'm happy for him that he at least wrote something good in his life. So there we go. Danger is kind of okay. Uh, then then the record gets really good though. Second side, side one is good with some duds. Side two is I would say, yeah, I would say side two is flawless. I love it loud is good. It's kind of repetitive, but it is a good track. I still love you is great. Killer is great and War Machine is great. So it is a good album. I would say it's not. It is a consistent album, but it's not perfect. You know, it has two kind of weaker songs on it. It has, you know, the rest of the album is pretty good. Side one is pretty good. Uh, side two is great though. I love side two. I love it loud, it's kind of generic, but you know, it is a good opener for side two, so there we go. So overall, this is a very good album. Um, yeah, I would say, yeah, I mean, of course, my favorite Kiss album. But because it's the first Kiss album I heard, but I'm gonna do more Kiss, so I am excited to check out more of their stuff. This was a good album. Uh, I believe this is the last good album, you know, the last consistent album forever, so... Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I'm gonna give this record a 8.4. It is a good album. It's very... Side 2 is great. Side 1 is good. So overall, I think it's an 8.4. So... Let me know what you think about this album in the comments down below. I enjoyed it. It got some very 
uh, bad ratings from you know all music gave it a four, which is fair enough. Rolling Stone gave it one for some reason. Pitchfork gave it one and a half, but Pitchfork fucking sucks. Rolling Stone, by the way, too. So there we go. Uh, and Vista Records gave it a four point twenty-five out of five, so that's pretty good. Uh, so let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I've been honest. Uh, let me know what you think about Creatures of the Night. Let me know what you think about Kiss in general. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on videos live on. And yeah, see you later, guys. Peace.